channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can achieve this Silent Hill nurse makeup and prosthetic. So I always recommend everyone to have reference photos whenever they're recreating something. And so these were the reference photos I used. One of them I'm pretty sure is from the video game. And then the other I'm actually pretty sure is a actual person who might have cosplayed this. I don't know, the quality is amazing, but these were two photos that I really referenced because surprisingly, they don't really have a lot of photos of the Silent Hill nurse online, which really shocked me because that is such an iconic horror character. I mean, you can always watch the movie. I actually still haven't watched the movie or played the video games. I mean, see, the only game that's by the same creator that I know of is Heavy Rain, and all I think of is that Jason scene. Jason! Jason! So yeah, fun fact. What's really great about this nurse is this is actually really easy to make and it's really functional. Like, when, I say this in every video. You can wear it to party, you can wear it to any event, it's whatever you want. Like, I know I say that all the time. But for real, it's really functional, it's really easy to do. I personally always recommend using a life cast if you have one, simply because I like to see how it's gonna look before I put it on my face. It just makes the paint job easier all that fun stuff. But if you want to, you can just lay the cotton on your face. You don't have to have a life cast. This is just the way I personally like to do it because. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing how you can achieve this Silent Hill nurse makeup look, then just keep watching. guys so to get started I'm just going to be making this nurse costume disgusting I'm going to be taking brown acrylic paint and just throwing it all over trying to make it look like mud dirt sewage whatever this nurse has been fondling with is gonna be on this costume and I got this costume from spirit Halloween I will leave it linked down below and I pray to pipe I paid a price for it that I wouldn't recommend paying so if you, if you want just get a white button down or you know something cheap thrift something anything that will help you guys save money because Costumes are expensive and yeah. We're then going to be discoloring the dress. So I just went ahead and put four cups of water into the kettle to boil. And then we're just going to be pouring that into a bucket that has a large tea bag in it before putting the dress in. So we can kind of get that nice off white yellow color. And we're also going to be throwing in some gauze as well. I threw in about three rolls of gauze just so whenever we wrap it around our head, it is discolored as well. And so once that is in, you're just going to let it sit into the water it is completely cool. I just left for about 30 minutes to an hour and just, you know, watch some YouTube videos or some TV before it was ready. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I also poured in some leftover coffee that we had from that morning whenever I poured in the tea and boiling water. And once that is all set, we're just going to take that out and let it dry overnight before we come back in the morning to add all of our blood. So I'm just literally taking some blood on my hands and just applying it in random areas over this dress, just so it looks like, you know, people have been stabbed and attacked and what have you, whatever shenanigans have gone on down there. We're just trying to replicate that on to this costume. Moving on to the makeup, we're going to be making our prosthetic by first taking the petroleum jelly and applying this all over the life cast just so the removal process will be a lot easier. I'm then going to be taking some cheap liquid latex from Walmart and some flour, mixing it together until you get a paste-like consistency, and then applying this all over the life cast. What I'm doing is you're basically creating a mask that you're going to in turn glue to your face with some adhesive. And what I recommend for the paste is I like to add a little bit of the liquid latex into a bowl, slowly add a little bit of flour, stir it, make sure it's all mixed together, and then add more flour if needed until you get the paste-like form. It's better to move slowly and get a nice smoother paste as opposed to adding a bunch of latex, adding too much flour, and then kind of just awkwardly going back and forth without properly mixing it because then the product is going to be a lot chunkier, which if that's what you're going for, that's fine, but you can also create that chunky texture by just lifting your spatula off of the latex and creating that nice spiky hedgehog kind of look. But anyways, if you wanna smooth it out, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of extra liquid latex onto my spatula or finger and just applying that over the prosthetic just so you can kind of help smooth it out and work it into a nice surface. Next, we're going to continue with more of the detail work of the nurse mask. So for this, I'm going to be applying a little bit of liquid latex onto the prosthetic before unrolling a piece of a cotton ball and laying that over top of the liquid latex and continuing to cover that with liquid latex just to help seal it. And you're going to continue to do this in the way that you want the nurse's gauze face to look. So I decided to apply a little bit over the eyes so I can still see, but it kind of helps, you know, 
cover up that empty area a little bit I decided to add a little bit on the forehead the other eye as well and even brought it down onto the face and for one side of the face I kind of wanted to make it look like some flesh has been rotting over a little bit just a little exposed like someone literally ripped your cheek off and you have a bunch of nasty raw flesh underneath so i'm just going to be taking a few balls of some cotton and latex and just kind of creating some little circular things just to try and add a little bit more texture and i'm just going to continue to kind of replicate that gauze on the rest of the face I went ahead and let that dry overnight, so now we're going to start on the paint job. I'm going to be taking my Skin Illustrator FX palette, taking my aged blood and blood tone, and just applying that to all of the exposed skin of the face. This is avoiding where we applied most of the cotton balls, just because we're going to have that be replicating gauze. So we're just going to be applying this into all of the fleshy bits that are peeking out. I'm then going to be taking my black alcohol paint and I'm going to be just applying that in a few of the areas that I feel like are going to be deeper in the flesh just to help add a little bit more dimension to those areas. Next, I'm going to be taking my white alcohol activated paint and just applying this onto the gauze to serve as a base layer. If you want, you can probably skip this step just because an alcohol paint is supposed to be a little bit more translucent. So if you want to just skip to the next step, that is completely fine. Anyways, for the next step, I'm going to be taking my Maron Paradise paint in white and just applying this all over the gauze to really help get the base color for the gauze where it's going to be nice and white before we begin to discolor it. I'm going to be taking my Graftobian Pro Paint in Graveyard Gray and just applying this sporadically all over the gauzy areas just to kind of help add a little shadow, some dust, just all the grime that is in the sewage before we go on to our Maron Paradise Paint in Black and add a tiny bit on the edges of the gauze just to once again help add a little bit of shadow and not take away too much from the gauze color but definitely make it look a little bit more dirty. Next, we're going to begin the removal process. So you just want to do this very carefully. I'm going to be taking some baby powder in a bowl and a brush, and you're just going to slowly lift up one edge of the prosthetic and continuously start to apply baby powder underneath. So while you're lifting up the prosthetic, you are going to be setting the back of the prosthetic with the baby powder and continuing to lift it up. This could take upwards of 20 to 30 minutes. Just take your time because the last thing you want is to completely ruin your prosthetic after you've just spent hours working on it. And there you have your completely finished prosthetic, so now we can move on to the application process. So this costume actually came with a few toys, which kind of suck. So we're just going to go ahead and move on. I just popped in my Sclera contact lenses, and now we're going to be taking our Maybelline Lasting Drama Eyeliner and tightlining our lower waterline, and basically doing everything that we need to around the eyes, because trying to get to it later is not going to work. This includes taking some of our petroleum jelly and just applying that around the baby hairs around our head, our eyebrows, and our eyelashes so that we don't rip them off later on. We're then going to be taking our Maron Paradise Paint in Black and applying this to all of the areas that are going to be exposed under the prosthetic. So this is going to be the eyes, the nose, the mouth, basically just the areas that you're still going to be able to see because we did not cover it with our latex and flower or cotton balls. You're then going to want to make sure to set this with some black eyeshadow just to make sure that you don't potentially sweat it off and to just help make sure it stays put. We're then going to be taking our Skin Illustrator Flush Palette, taking Vein Tone, and then taking our FX Palette, taking Lividity, and adding some discoloration to the chest. If you look at the reference photos, there isn't much going on the chest, all of the drama is on the face, so we're just going to be creating a few veins with the Vein Tone and adding some splotches with Lividity to just add a little bit more discoloration. We're then going to be taking our NYX Total Control Foundation and Porcelain and just taking a sponge and splotching up that area even more. And then taking some of my Ben Nye Dark Blood and just applying a little bit of this around the eyes just so we don't have to worry about this later on. Now we're going to be applying the prosthetic. You're just going to be taking some of your Ben Nye Spirit Gum, applying this onto your face and applying some onto the prosthetic as well, waiting for it to get tacky and then taking some of your pantyhose and just tapping on to the spirit gum to help kind of activate it and make it even more tacky. And then you're going to go ahead and apply the prosthetic onto your face, hold it there for about a minute or so just to make sure that it is sturdy before you begin to move your face around underneath. I didn't worry about applying a bald cap knowing that I'm going to be wrapping my entire head with gauze. So with that being said, it does need a little bit more support in the upper area where you would normally glue it down to a bald cap. So I'm just going to be bobby pinning those areas to my hair. 
And so that is complete. We're going to be wrapping our head with the gauze as well. I wrapped it around a few times until I ran out, made sure to bobby pin and secure that one area before going in with another roll of gauze to get the back of my head until my entire head is completely covered. I'm then going to be taking my Marilyn Paradise paint in black and adding a little bit more discoloration to the gauze so it can kind of blend in to my prosthetic a little bit more. And we're also going to be applying that body paint around the eyes as well just to kind of help make it look more hollow. Next, we're going to be taking our gorgeous Ben Nye Fresh Scab and just applying this to the deepest areas of our wounds or where you think that they would be, just the areas that you think you're going to have more blood coagulated and to kind of just make it look a little bit more intense and disturbing before taking our Ben Nye Dark Blood Stage Blood and just allowing this to drip down the prosthetic. And that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my Halloween videos. I upload a new Halloween themed makeup tutorial every weekday for the month of October and a spoopy Saturday every Saturday. So don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you can be notified of my uploads. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.